Welcome to Good Mythical More. We're going to see if dishes that usually require cutlery can or should be eaten with your hands. Yes, but first, this more has a sponsor. This portion of today's episode is sponsored by Wondrium, the premier entertaining and educational video subscription service that enriches your life with approachable, comprehensive, and illuminating content. Your brain is gonna love it. I love my brain. That's why I feed my brain things that it loves, and my brain eats up Wondrium. My mm. eyes and ears are my brain's mouth, and Wondrium is the food. What I'm saying is my brain watches Wondrium. Okay. Well, I watch Wondrium with my brain. Okay. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why my brain is so smart. Mm -hmm. And I'm known for that. Yeah. For being smart. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Wondrium is where you find the answer to everything you've ever wondered about and some things you'd never imagine you would wonder about. Mm. Their carefully cur curated collection of short and long form cur videos. Cur cur uh, tutorials, how-tos, travelogues, documentaries, and more is academically comprehensive, thoroughly researched, relentlessly entertaining, and presented by engaging experts. Oh, I know. And because we're about to see if certain foods should be eaten differently, that got me thinking about food customs of the past. Yeah. So I watched a lecture on dining habits in ancient Rome from the Food, a Cultural Culinary History series. Did your brain eat it with your eyes? Yes. It did. Mm -hmm. I learned that Romans usually ate lying down at a triclinium. Triclinium. Have you heard of a triclinium? Yeah, a triclinium. It, uh, it's got three sets of couches that are set up in a U shape. Uh -huh. There'd be one spot for the host and another for the guest of the honor. <laughs> the guest of the honor? With the guest of honor. Yeah. And then other people would recline behind them. So at my triclinium, you would be reclining behind me and the guest of the honor. Uh, well, actually, I think I'm bringing my own couch to your triclinium. Trust me. Well, that, that becomes a quadclinium. I don't That's care what That's a totally it different thing. In a nutshell, Wondrium is the place for minds that wonder. And speaking of nutshell, I also learned how to crack open dried acorns to grind them into flour. You've learned so much. I don't know if I can handle the new link. I'm, I've always been smart. <laughs> if you've ever now wondered, I can prove it. If you've ever wondered about anything, Wondrium will be your new favorite place, and they're giving you a free trial. Yeah, okay, click the link in the description to sign up for your free trial at wondrium.com slash GMM. Thanks to Wondrium for sponsoring that portion of this video. Oh. Now, Let's play What's the Word. This is uh, when we get a word and we try to guess its definition. Okay. Triclinium. <laughs> Three couches, <laughs> Romans, ha. Huh. Actually, it's... Uh, Acorn dust. Fur uncle. Fur uncle. Like fur, F-U-R, and then uncle. Fur uncle. A fur uncle is when someone tries to convince the family that the pet is their brother. Mm. Specifically, a dad. When yeah. it's a dad joke, it's like my, this is my brother. He looks like a dog, but it's, it's really my. It's your fur uncle. <laughs> it's your fur uncle. Yeah. Right. I think it's when you just get something for your uncle. <laughs> How does that bike for me? No, it's for uncle. I'm sorry to inform us that a fur uncle is a boil or infected, inflamed or pus-filled sore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, Uncles get a bad rep, man. Yeah, they do. Always be I'm an uncle. associated with things. I'm an uncle as well. I think I might be more of an uncle than you. I got more. I have more nieces and nephews than you. I've I've got uh I've got a nephew and I've got a niece and I've got a uh, I've got two other nieces that are like the the daughters of my half sisters. That make them half nieces. That makes them one niece together. So two the, two half nieces equals one full niece. Well, so I that don't. Counts as one. I don't. They don't call me half uncle. Okay. Well, all right. You can. I okay. consider. I consider. Them full. Okay, so you can count all four of them. Yeah. My brother has four kids. I got you beat right there. And then my uh, wife's sister has two. I got six. I got six nieces. Yeah, and how many of them do you love? Uh, four of them. Okay, we're tied then. Yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> we can you are going to be presented with two foods that you normally eat with utensils, and you're going to try both the foods Good with gosh. your hands and determine... Like uh, spaghetti? Yeah. And the salad. salad that usually accompanies it, and we we have to choose one to eat okay. with our hands. Which is the better experience? If you had to choose one to eat with your hands, which would you this choose? Is stupid. And then also, but why, Stevie? 
Yeah, why well, don't What's we... the scenario where I'm eating the salad with a fork? Okay. And they, they take the fork away and Here's they bring me the this thing. and I'm just starving? No, okay. So I do think at one point we talked about some kind of science, like about eating something with your hand. Like if you eat like a cinnamon roll with your hand uh -huh. versus like with a fork, it, it like psychologically changes it for you. It tastes different. Oh, really? So maybe yeah. there's something that we has to do that? with that. Um, and also, we asked the crew to vote between these pair ups too. So we asked so much of the crew. <laughs> Are y'all tired of answering the questions? I, I I meant just like with everything that they do. Oh, you mean but, the actual jobs yeah. they have? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was very hard for them to choose which dish to eat with their hand uh, <laughs> hands, but uh, yep. it's, they did it. Are uh, you guys so, gonna mutiny over over the surveys? Yeah. Lighten up. <laughs> so you're you're um, inserting no. your own opinion, which you're good at, and then also guessing what inserting the inserting our own is hands in. too. I kind of I'm gonna get the normal size bite that I would typically get, which is like that. And then I guess you got to go like this. This is medieval, man. This is like trinclinium stuff. <laughs> Triclinium. See, but this mm -hmm. I. I think I can grab this in a way as to not get any of the, sh uh, the dressing on my hand. And to not have to do what I just did, which is to lean back. Oh, I still gotta lean back. Maybe that's why the Romans had to lean back. Mm-hmm. Because they, they were eating their hands. Yeah. And so that's why they laid down. And swords. Be like, I should be laying down. Do you notice yourself, do you, do you eat differently by yourself than you do around other people? Yes, I'm yeah. sure I do. I yeah. also talk different when I'm alone. You talk to yourself differently a, when you're alone? He has alone? a little accent. He has a, he has a little pirate accent when he's by himself. <laughs> Hi. Hi, little Linky. It's time for you to get ready for bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in third person as a pirate. It's weird. When we were kids, sometimes I'd catch him. He wouldn't know I'd snuck in, I'd snuck over to his house and here he was, Linky, Pirate Linky. I father myself as a pirate. <laughs> you fathered yourself? I father myself. <laughs> I speak to myself as if I am my own father and I'm a pirate. You should talk to your, you should talk to your therapist about that. <laughs> Uh, but I know what you he, mean, he, he, he's in Yeah, of that. you like sometimes catch yourself eating while you're by yourself well, and you're I like, ew, eat, I am disgusting. I eat like a freaking dog. Yeah. When no one's looking, and most of the time when people are looking, I mean, it's just like I, I have to like, oh, I'm at a restaurant because I, I eat like a I eat like a fool in front of my wife and family. Like we have no shame as a family. It's just everybody's not. No one's looking at each other. They're all all looking at their food. Yeah. And so no one's caring about it. But then you're at a restaurant. I think there's plenty of proof that I eat in front of everyone the way that most people would only be willing to eat when no one's watching. With the way that everybody what do you kicks mean? Like just you don't the eat amount of chewing you, do? you eat aggressive. The way that I eat is something that's picked apart in the comments. Well, look at the way that he eats his ice cream. Look at the way that he eats his thing. Ew, well, you were doing that thing with your ice cream where you were, like, leaving bits of it on. And then, yeah. like, it's something you need to be called out, and it's okay. Half as many scoops, twice as many bites. <laughs> Uh, okay, what is the experience it? that you're having currently? Salad was pretty good. I don't. I, something about the salad felt wrong to me. I'm voting for the spaghetti. It felt more right. The reason I don't like the spaghetti is it's it's too unwieldy. But I can get a little ball of salad and you know. So I'm going with salad. Is my vote? No, the salad could like it could it could fall over your face when you're dropping it. It could go out of the mouth area. This, if you funnel it right, it, it wants to it wants to go right in. So what do you think the crew? Uh, I think that they picked salad because there's not, they thought they could dodge the dressing like I did. I think they picked spaghetti because it seems more fun, but until you do it, you don't realize that it's actually salad is the correct answer. Right. Well, they picked salad. Boom. 36 votes to, 50, to 20 votes. Okay, so. Have you seen those TikToks of the, the salad lady that does like, She'll make salads, but like all the bits are pretty small, and then she'll take a tortilla chip and like eat her salad with tortilla chips. No, just on my FYP. Yep, I ain't in it. It looks so good. 
good. It looks so good. Oh, that good. looks good. Have you? you tried it? Oh, it it looks really good because she has like a she does like a green goddess dressing on some, so it kind of looks like guacamole almost. It's not like as creamy, but it's like it looks like a nice way to get your veggies. Okay. Um, or to get your chips. Yeah. Uh, there was an argument that ensued uh, amongst the crew. Pretty vicious. Okay. Uh, I, I, uh, they're they're both here, Taylor and Megan. If you want to, um, who who wants to represent first? Yeah, I I are you guys talking Megan? to each other at this point? Are you have you resolved uh, things? No, we're still fighting. Um, I'm Team Spaghetti. Thank you, Link. Um, it's so much more fun. And also, okay, imagine you've just reheated spaghetti and like the sauce isn't as much of a problem. Okay. Yeah. 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 And it, you can just like one at a time. One at a time. It. And then. Uh-huh. No right. problem. Salad's just like that's what I thought everybody would vote for because of the fun factor. Mm-hmm. So I agree with you technically, even though I pick salad. And I agree with you personally. Okay, Taylor, you're on you're on team salad. Uh, my statement is that lettuce um, offers itself up as a vehicle to get the other toppings into your mouth, whereas a noodle, try getting a meatball on a piece of spaghetti. Yeah, I've tried. You can't do it. Yeah. Oh, you're saying that you use the salad as if it were a chip and a nacho, like Stevie's talking See, about. See, that looks like it's a little shredded there. This is some more chopped lettuce. Yeah. But you're talking like, yeah, if you had like more leafy greens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In that case, I can see what you're saying. A little, little lettuce tacos. The question wasn't spaghetti and meatballs. I would like to clarify. Yeah. That. And, and you can just, just pick spaghetti. up a meatball. Don't, yeah. Don't, yeah, no, it's not spaghetti and meatballs. It's just okay. spaghetti. Well, you're right. That is just spaghetti. Is there a meatball in there? Yeah, but that's the, and it's the shredded and salad. That's the shredded I don't salad. know that this is what is there something on the salad? I see brown. It, it What's might that? be a meatball. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. I'm afraid. To Even touch the it. crouton is crushed. I don't know what. Yeah, see, you don't get a salad it's, like that. No, you don't. I don't Nobody know what gets that. This salad. is slaw. I think it. I think it went through a paper shredder. All right, let's go to matchup number two. Oh, but I'm very. Oh. Oh. I don't know why it was that slick, Trevor. Hey. Is everyone okay? I heard a scream. Well, I don't has think a that very was Trevor. Very light colored jeans today. <laughs> Come over here, man. I'm okay. You got on your whitest outfit. Yeah, I know. In both senses of the word. I. Hey. I <laughs> uh, do. Uh, you just launched a plate of spaghetti off the desk. No. It, it, look, I stopped here. No, don't do it again. I stopped here, Stop and it, it kept going. It was like that one time in shuffleboard. Where it's just a like, lot of follow through. Did, you, did Lucas spread shuffleboard sand over there? Why are you trying to blame someone else? <laughs> that wasn't my fault. Well, fine, I'll blame you. What? I think we'll have to go to the replay. I think you put. I think you pushed it a little harder than you thought. Know. What, Michaela? No. Say, speak your piece. You love blaming other people. Oh dang, oh. dang, Michaela. <laughs> so you love blaming other people. <laughs> I didn't. I, I I didn't blame anybody. You're blaming me. You slid it. You You're yeah. blaming other people. <laughs> me. Well, I tell you, I, I thought you guys may maybe worked your thing out, but apparently not. It's back. <laughs> guys, let's move on to the exciting part of this episode: scrambled eggs versus over easy eggs. Oh God, I can't even. So with over- to be clear, that was 100% Link's fault. I hope you guys are okay over there. It, the desk doesn't typically behave like that, or the plate. <laughs> so an over easy egg, it's kind of easy to eat. Okay, with your hands. recently we had some members of the crew had a discussion about over easy versus sunny side up versus medium fried. Over easy is the perfect egg. Well, no, not for every scenario, mm. because if you're having a, a ew. Uh, see, that's why I can't do this. And Lando's the right way. We went to Waffle House, and he he said, "I want a fried egg where the middle's not runny, and then it wasn't runny, and then he still vomited into his ma- hand a little bit <laughs> when he saw it. Like we, this this is not good for us. But this right here, that's good." Yeah, but you're losing the thing. One of the things that the egg has to offer, which is a juicy. And I know you can pick up the whole thing and just start biting it, but I, I again, I'm just not in the right headspace to eat that. I just can't do it. And you know what? I'm sorry for what I did. I did it. Who's, just me. Whose fault was it? It's my fault. I did it all by myself. But it might have been. I mean, Lucas may have put some sand on that table. I don't know. I mean. I, I haven't been watching them closely. I'm just saying, the way that it slid, it was like 
it was like it was like you've been booby trapped. It was I mean, like, that, like it was like somebody had set you up. <laughs> I did feel that way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was almost like somebody had set you up. <laughs> I will say the crew voted I in did. a landslide for, for one scrambled, which is clearly the right answer, because oh really? No, I think they voted for this one. No, I guess you're right. Scrambled. You just eat it just like we did. It's super easy. Yeah, it was scrambled. It was 50 to 3. Scrambled Do we have any of the people easy. who voted for uh, Sunnyside? Or? Uh, uh, Nick did. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nick. And, and Nick, before before you, you launch into your tirade, I just want, on behalf of boobies everywhere, I just want to say, <laughs> I don't think that boobies should be roped into... Traps. Traps. Yeah. And I don't think they should be a part of that association. I think boobies need to be associated with what I like to associate yeah. them with. Boobies, all boobies should be set free. They should not be trapped at all. Right. I don't believe in braziers, and they is should, what I'm saying. But they shouldn't be associated with a word that is about ensnaring somebody. Right. They should be associated with something else. Free like, the tatas. Like a, like a great, like like a gift. And never, and outlaw the, the term booby trap. Yeah. All right. I so. think if, <laughs> if boobies want to be trapped, boobies can be trapped. I'm just saying. I'll say about it. It sounds painful to me. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, what do you? You're walking booby first in a forest. If you and want all to of trap a sudden, your boobies, like clamping great. down on your booby. Boobies should be free. Oh. Boobies should be free. Boobies should be free to do what they want to do. Right. And if they, <laughs> if they want to be, if they want to be free, they should be free. And if they want to be trapped, they should be trapped. Stop. <laughs> this is this is important. What? Well, yeah, I know. That's why I'm using my hands. You're not taking <laughs> anything I'm saying seriously today. No, no, I'm, no, I'm taking it very seriously, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I picked the uh, uh, over easy eggs because when you bite into it, you can then dip the uh, rest of the egg back into the runny sauce. Yeah, that is um, that was about to happen. Versus just you have crumbly scrambled eggs that's just gonna fall everywhere when you. Yeah, pick that's it up. that's what you're I was thinking. You're gonna get it in your shirt. You're gonna that's get it in whatever might be holding. Nick, I boobies. think if scrambled yeah, right, eggs yeah. want to be in your shirt, they should be in your shirt. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> scrambled egg. <laughs> should be uh, I, I agree with you. Okay. That that was my vote. <laughs> How about uh, poke and chili? How about it? <laughs> See, I'd forgotten. I had. <laughs> I mean, it just went so fast. Well, this is a tough one. This is a tough one right I, here. I think it just just based on, I'm just thinking poke before I even touch anything. Because it doesn't stick to your hands as much as I mean, as this, is re this is hot. I, it, I mean, let's just assume that you let it cool. Well, yeah, but you want to eat chili hot. Or at least pretty warm. Oh, it's hot. See? How hot is it? I mean, it's not that hot. I didn't say it was real hot. <laughs> it is hot. <laughs> it's not that hot, man. You've you, you, you been working in a, like a pineapple factory? You can't I, put your fingers? I, I put my hands in the microwave for 40 seconds every day. <laughs> <laughs> How do you shut the door? With the other one. <laughs> <laughs> This is so dumb. <laughs> we, we are so dumb. <laughs> this is Later, so, Link's gonna be like, this is, that's Link, like a Laurel and Hardy. Put your thing. hand in the microwave. I'll put my hands in the microwave. I mean, that, you should clip that out and put that on the internet. How do you shut the door? We're the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good. It's a little hot, though. A little hot. Is it real hot? Not real hot. <laughs> <clears throat> It tasted pretty good. It's a little messy. This is this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare scenario. I vote for poke. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, the majority of the crew voted for poke, but uh, Michaela did not, and she of course has, uh, she did. <laughs> strong. Well, she has good Why reasoning. Why are you working against say. me so hard today? <laughs> I'm okay. innocent. Michaela, uh, explain yourself. Well. When I commented on it, I said Vikings look like they used to have so much fun. And uh. 
in those periods of time, it Vikings? was... Vikings? Yes. Yeah, they ate with their hands. They ate with their hands. And they pillaged. So they looked like they were having fun, but also it could be like a warming agent, you know? Like it could uh, warm you up oh, you got on the fingers. inside and outside. Pokey is just raw fish. Like, yeah. first of all, ill. Second of all... <laughs> <laughs> you okay. know what? You're you're right. And I'm not just trying to get on your case. good side for... for. You've been on the bad side, I think, for like a long time. <laughs> right. I'm like so far... I don't know... I, I always know. apologize. Um, I was sorry. Not well, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not well. I take full responsibility for my role in what happened. Mm-hmm. I don't know what else was going on. That's just, I'm just asking the question. <laughs> we'll think about it. We're still thinking about it. <laughs> She's got... <laughs> See? Okay, what do we got here? I mean, because sometimes I, I, you know, maybe I'll do something. Maybe. For comedic effect. Oh. It's like, oh, it'll be fun to slide this up. But no, I was just literally trying to be helpful. <laughs> I, my heart was so in, a, in the right place. Is that mashed potatoes with gravy? Yep. And, and applesauce. Apple sauce. I feel like now, I gotta use different you, hands. Can you just dip on the one side? I'm doing the right side of both with two different hands, and I'm gonna do it at the same time. What are you doing a two finger sw- swipe whip for? <laughs> Right. You always got to go with two fingers. Two fingers. Just. You, you got to go with two fingers so you can. It's like. No, it's like a shovel. It, what? Oh, no, that's it's that hands free. I picked it up with my hand. It's, it's utensil free. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? This is this that's pretty good. There's a lot more here than what you had over there. You did two fingers too. Mm, that's tasty. That is some good. Wow. That's equally good. Both great ideas. I'm so torn. <laughs> I'm so torn with which one's better to eat with your hands, applesauce or mashed potatoes and gravy. Always in co- covering the important things on this show. Oh, mashed potatoes and gravy is my vote. I agree with you because it has a little bit more viscosity, or is it less viscosity? Less. Yeah, the majority of the of people picked mashed potatoes and gravy, except for uh, Trevor. Trevor? Oh. Yeah, so I feel like I need to explain myself here. I have no recollection of ever voting in any poll. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm here this to defend... You, is, this is how you show up at work every day? <laughs> this is, I'm here to defend my honor, uh, despite not remembering voting for it. Um, imagine the mindset of you eating mashed potatoes and gravy with your hands versus applesauce. If you're eating applesauce with your hand, you're like a kid, you know? You're, you're, you're taken back to your childhood of just, you know, shoveling stuff in all right. dirty. But I mean, eating mashed potatoes and gravy with your hands, that's just like a bad Thanksgiving. That's like you're, you're having a rough Thanksgiving. You're yeah. not happy with your family. You grab a bowl of mashed potatoes and gravy, take it yeah. up to your room. You forgot a utensil and you're just shoveling it. Just oh, so it's kind of sad. Yeah, Sadness. sad. It's sad. Wow. Really thinking about the mental state that you might be in when you get to this place. But but that isn't what made you vote the way you did. I don't know what made me vote. Right. This is a, this is a retrospective. It's unclear to me on so many levels. You know what? I'm glad you weren't hurt. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you weren't stained. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And I'm sorry that you had to clean that up. Yep. <laughs> She, she said that's fine. Wait, she needs a camera on her. <laughs> I mean, it looks like okay, a like thousand words. <laughs> to get our Brooks and Dunn vinyl, join Third Degree Monthly by April 30th or Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by June 30th. MythicalSociety.com for details.